this is something that I want to say, autism awareness, and this is my personal opinion. Autistic people, especially the ones that are more high functioning, tend to get viewed as being mean and society wants to steer clear of people that have high functioning autism i was told for years most of my life that i was mean and the problem with this is they remember it forever whereas most people wouldn't remember stuff the, the way an autistic person does and when you remember stuff it's more likely to cause lingering anxiety and worry. And that gets misinterpreted as people thinking that I'm nothing but a worry wart. It's like that I'm really a worry wart, but I remember so much and it's really hard. And when you remember so much, you can't always see the good stuff you see stuff what more happens every day and that makes it hard for a person with autism to, to feel appreciated when they remember every detail of everything and it's not a bad thing to remember everything i think it's a good thing and this is one thing i have to say as Christians, we need to pray for people on the autism spectrum. I was raised in church most of my life, and we were taught to be socially acceptable. As a Christian, I believe that God knows your heart. He sees the inside, whereas everybody else only sees the outside. And if you're not promoting kindness and trying to understand the way autistic people work, I don't feel like that is exercising your faith. One of the good things that I think about being on the autism spectrum is we've got modern technology and there's a lot of benefits to modern technology as compared to like in the old days where it was more stressful to do certain stuff the autistic mind thinks differently and it works better with technology sometimes than what a normal mind does temple grandin says that if we didn't have autism that we would still be living in caves i agree with that somewhat because recently i've been doing a lot of research on the autism spectrum, which I've always done it anyway, about famous people. 90% of people nowadays that even have a smartphone have an iPhone. And Apple is the creator of iPhones. And they think that the founder of Apple, even though he was one of the richest men in the world at the time when he died, was somewhere on the autism spectrum even though he was never formally diagnosed and i also read that bill gates has a form of high functioning autism and he's the founder of microsoft that's one good thing about autism because if you, we didn't have autism we wouldn't have this fancy modern technology that everybody uses like this iphone that i've got right in my hand right now it's more easier to be a christian nowadays with modern technology than what it was because we have online library apps podcast apps that have the bible on them and we can listen to the bible and read it and most of the time it's free i have hoopla i have listened to the complete bible on hoopla and how much does Hoopla cost? It's free. All you need is a library card from a participating library. So if you're interested in Hoopla, make sure that your local library has access to it. If not, you'll probably have to go to another library and sign up to fill out a card. And count that as a blessing. I'm very thankful for Hoopla. I mean, even though the app acts up from time to time, it allowed me to read books that I never would have done before. People that are struggling financially, and it's convenient. I just thought I would let you know that. And because of what I mentioned earlier in the video of me remembering so much, it's almost like I can 
remember like several months worth of stuff that happened when I was younger. It's hard for me to see the real big picture. But at times when I've seen the big picture of stuff, it's really been beneficial because I could also see the small details of stuff too. I have always been jealous of smart people and successful people. Like if they've been going through a tough time that they would get more attention, like people would be praying for them. If it's something and acute is what irks me. Not very many people have prayed for people that are suffering from mental illness, which really sucks. Or any form of autism because that's often considered a taboo topic and for that reason I feel jealous when other people are get kind words when they're going through a rough time. I haven't always gotten a lot of prayer requests when I was going through a rough time. Well, actually twice I almost had to go to the hospital because I was so upset that I couldn't control myself and nobody prayed for me about it that I knew about it and I feel like we need to start praying for people that have got high functioning autism or any type of mental illness. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to voice my opinion. It's just frustrating to have to deal with some of the side effects of high functioning autism. And by writing a book and by making the videos when I do, I really want to erase the stigma that's associated with high functioning autism. And I hope you all have a good day. And if you don't care, if you don't have anything positive to say, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't say anything at all. Thank you. Bye.